Hello, my name is Dr. Andrew Doan, and today I'm going to show you how to test the connectivity of your earthing product and also how to measure your body voltage. Ready? Let's get started. The earthing company is not a sponsor of this video. I placed links to all the products that I've used in this video in the description below. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the earthing connectivity device, how to measure your body voltage, and also to show you why having a separate ground is important when measuring your body voltage. Why measure body voltage? There are a lot of electromagnetic forces or EMFs out there. In this video, we're going to focus on low frequency EMF that run at 50 to 60 hertz or cycles per second. 50 to 60 hertz EMF is primarily the alternating current generated by the electricity in your home and in power lines. Electrical EMF will induce an alternating current on the human body. This alternating current can be measured as alternating voltage. There are various health problems with having alternating voltage surging in your body. I have another video where I explain the health problems associated with EMF exposure, which I place in the description below. To mitigate this EMF pollution and reduce the body voltage induced by electrical EMF, earthing and grounding have been used for decades and have been shown with peer-reviewed research to improve health. Earthing is the practice of skin contact to the earth outside. Unfortunately, most of the harmful health issues and EMF occur because we sleep in an electrical EMF that surrounds us in our bedrooms and homes. The earthing company produces numerous products that ground the human body using the electrical ground in the home. I'll place a link to the earthing company in the description below and you can browse there yourself. First. Let's look at the earthing connectivity device. I will use the earthing connectivity device to test the earthing product. Pushing the button will make the light flash on and off, indicating that the device is ready to use. The connectivity device only tells you if you have a continuous connection from your earthing product to the device and therefore your earthing product is conductive. The earthing connectivity device does not indicate if you are grounded. Look at what happens when I touch the back of the earthing connectivity device and my earthing cable that's connected to the device. My body completes the circuit and the light stays on, even though this cable is not grounded. I have a second earthing cord that will be my ground. I will use my house outlet as the ground to the earth. A ground checker will indicate if I have a proper ground to the earth outside. When two orange lights turn on, then I have a proper ground to the earth. Unfortunately, this does not indicate the quality of my ground to the earth and it states only that I have a ground to the earth. Two orange lights indicate that the outlet is grounded to the earth. One center orange light means that the outlet is an open ground. One right orange light is an outlet that is open neutral. No lights mean the outlet is open hot. One red and one right orange light means the outlet is a hot ground reverse. One red and one center orange light indicate that it's a hot neutral reverse. Do not use your outlet as a ground for your earthing product unless you have two orange lights on your outlet checker. In this next example, I connect the earthing connectivity device using an earthing cable to a splitter that is plugged into the third prong of the outlet. The second earthing cable is also connected to the splitter. I use the button and it shows that I have a complete circuit using the earthing cable. Look what happens when I unplug the splitter from the wall outlet. Both earthing cables are connected to the splitter and no longer grounded to the outlet. I push the button on the earthing connectivity device and the light turns on. So let me repeat this again. The earthing connectivity device is used to confirm that your earthing product is conductive or functioning. You cannot use this device to determine if you're grounded. This also demonstrates why it's important to measure your body voltage drop with an earthing device using a separate ground. I will explain this later in the video. Next, I'm going to show you how to measure your body voltage and how to determine if you're grounded with an earthing product. To measure the body voltage that's induced by electrical EMF, I use an Enologic auto-ranging voltmeter that I can measure as low as 1 millivolts AC. 
I will place a link for the voltmeter in the description below. You want to set the voltmeter to AC volts or alternating current because the electrical EMF is alternating at 50 to 60 hertz and the voltage you're measuring is an induced voltage. Make sure to wear rubber-soled shoes to insulate your body from the floor just in case your floor is grounded to the earth. I will use the cables on the right as my ground, which is an earthing cable connected to the wall outlet that is grounded to the earth. I connect the black negative lead on the voltmeter to the grounded earthing cable. I pinch the red positive lead on the voltmeter with my left thumb and index finger. The voltmeter reads 174 millivolts AC. That's the AC volts induced on my body by the electrical EMF in my home. 174 millivolts AC is fairly low voltage, which is great. The lower the induced AC voltage, the better. I have been in homes where the induced voltage was 2000 to 3000 millivolts AC. Under power lines, I have induced as much as 12,000 millivolts or 12 volts AC onto my body. I will demonstrate how to determine if the earthing product is working properly. The purpose of your earthing product is to connect you to the earth, which will drop the AC voltage induced on your body by the electrical EMF that surrounds you. In this part of the video, my earthing product will be the earthing cable. The nipple on this cable is usually connected to your earthing pillow, sheet, mattress pad, mat, or EKG earthing patch. To ground my body, I am going to touch the metal on the earthing cable directly that is grounded to the wall outlet. I will use this cable on the right as my ground, which is the earthing cable connected to the wall outlet that is grounded to the earth. The second earthing cable is connected to a separate outlet. I touch the black negative lead on the voltmeter to the grounded earthing cable. I pinch the red positive lead on the voltmeter with my left thumb and index finger. Ungrounded, my body voltage is 165 millivolts AC. Touching the second grounded earthing cable with my left middle finger while pinching the red positive lead on the voltmeter, my body voltage immediately drops below 30 millivolts AC. Because of skin resistance, as heat and moisture builds up between the skin on my finger and the second grounded earthing cable, the resistance of my skin drops and my body voltage drops to as low as 12 millivolts AC. Next, I'm going to show why it's important to have a separate independent ground to connect the black negative lead on the voltmeter. I am going to connect the two earthing cables with a paper clip so that the cables are no longer grounded to the electrical outlet to the earth. Look what happens to my body voltage when I touch the ungrounded earthing cables that are connected together. My body voltage was 178 millivolts alternating current and drops as low as 5 millivolts. My body voltage drops even though the cables are not grounded because I am measuring my body voltage in reference to the ungrounded wires, which will be close to zero. What does this mean? One, the black negative lead to the voltmeter must be grounded to the earth via a separate independent outlet or a stake that is inserted into the earth. When using the outlet, always use an earthing cable and never insert the voltmeter leads into the outlet directly. To ground directly to the earth outside, you can use a 12 inch barbecue skewer and a copper wire to the ground and black negative lead of the voltmeter. Temporarily run the grounded copper wire through a window for your measurements. Two. An earthing product that is connected to a poorly grounded house can still show a drop in body voltage because the reference point of the voltmeter is the wiring of the house and not the earth outside. Perhaps this is why grounding with earthing products may be ineffective for some people. Is it possible that this is why people claim that dirty electricity is causing problems even though there's no such thing as dirty electricity? Perhaps the reason why you don't feel the health benefits with earthing products is because your house is not grounded well. Three, to determine if your earthing product is properly grounded to the earth, use a dedicated ground with a stake that is inserted into the earth outside. If you see a significant drop in your body's voltage, then the earthing product is working well. In my video, I see my body's AC voltage dropped to 12 millivolts AC. Please post questions and share your experiences with earthing and grounding in the comments. Help me spread this important message and to receive additional health tips in the future, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. 
Until next time, I wish you health and joy.